Hi, I'm Rob Schmidt with Gentilly Mail and Copy Center, a local New Orleans business. Here to show you how to pack a framed piece of artwork so that it can get where it's going in one piece. Keep in mind that anything you pack and ship should be able to endure a drop of four feet without breaking. First of all, I measure the piece of artwork. I want to choose a box for this that's five inches wide or five inches longer and about five inches thick. Now I'm preparing a piece of cardboard that'll be strapped to the artwork to keep it centered in the middle of the box in case of damage around the edges. I'm making two short cuts and with this special resizing tool I'm scoring the cardboard in between. That makes it easy to fold. I'll do this on all four sides. You can see how these flaps will be holding the artwork in place. Now I'm taping a piece of newsprint to the front of the artwork to protect it and make a barrier between it and the bubble wrap. This is absolutely necessary if it's an oil painting because of a reaction that can take place. I like to do it anyway because it can get pretty hot in those trucks. I'm wrapping the artwork with enough bubble wrap to fill the box but not overfill it. Then. I'll lay it on the piece of cardboard I prepared earlier. Now be sure that the flat side of the bubbles faces inward against the artwork. Here I'm breaking the bubbles near the flaps. I'll do this on all four sides so that when I tape this it'll really be snug and the piece of artwork won't be able to move around. This piece of artwork was not very heavy, but if it were, I would use two pieces of cardboard and also fill the empty space with packing peanuts. So folks, did that look easy? Well, there is an even easier way. Just bring your delicate valuables here to Gentilly Mail and Copy Center and let me pack them for you. That way, I'll personally guarantee they're packed right. Thanks for watching.